Next, we will hear from advocates on an important legislative issue that I mentioned at the beginning of our day, supported decision-making. This is something you all need to hear, understand, and engage with. Hi, everyone. This is Viviana Bonita Lopez. Michael Lincoln McCrate. My name is Kyla Ernst. And we are here to talk to you all about supported decision making. So supported decision making is an alternative to guardianship that allows people with disabilities to make their own decisions with the support of people that they trust. Mike and I are the co-chairs of the SDM for Florida Coalition. And Mike is going to tell us about the supported decision making bill that we have introduced into session this year with Representative Allison Tant in the House as our sponsor and Senator Joe Gruters in the Senate as our sponsor. The supported decision-making bill is a least restrictive option instead of guardianship. Basically what the bill entails is exactly what supported decision-making is. And it just goes into supported decision-making in deep detail. So that judges know that before they do a guardianship, they should consider supported decision-making. It's gonna clarify the law and make sure that we have uniformity and protections for people with disabilities. Tyler, you are someone who uses supported decision-making, right? Yes. And you're the decision-maker, which is the person with a disability who makes decisions, but what do you call yourself? Well, because I'm the, the chief of CEO. You are the CEO of your life, right? My life. And what do you call your supporters who are your family members who help you make decisions? My mom, my sister, my dad. And they're your assistants? Yes. yes. What would your mom help you with? So I go to the hospital, I get sick, I need surgery. My mom, that's to me. Um, she has a doctor, she gets the papers to her. So. I get sick, I'm mom and sister. And I actually use supported decision-making that way too, of, of people helping you with difficult decisions like when you're sick and you're trying to understand what you should do. So that's awesome. And Mike, you use supported decision-making as well, right? Um, I use my pastor um, and then I just use different supports in my, in my circle. If you wanna learn more, please go to www dot I decide Florida dot org and that is all spelled out where you can find out more information about our bill and how you can support it. Well thank you all so much and thanks for coming today. Bye. Bye. Thank you our supported decision making team for your commitment to create inclusive options for people with developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm.